What's going on YouTube? This is Jonathan with TLD. I'm going to show you guys how to install an SSD into your unibody MacBook Pro. This will work on the 13, 15, and 17 inch models. It's all the same. You're going to need a 00 Phillips screwdriver. I got this for about two bucks at Home Depot and you're also going to need a Torx T6 screwdriver. I also picked this up at Home Depot as well. I was able to find an 8-in-1 kit for about six bucks so the total cost was really under 10 bucks. Not expensive at all. So the first step that we're going to have to do is to remove all the screws on the back plate for your MacBook Pro. The top three right ones, those are the longest ones, so we're going to want to start there and remove those first. Make sure to have a cloth laid down so you don't scratch your MacBook Pro, and I like to put like a bottle cap or a cup even just to make sure the screws don't get loose and fall on the floor or anything. After we're all done with the screws, the next step is we're going to remove the actual lid. You might get a little resistance, it's not a huge deal, just go ahead and pull it off. Now that we're inside the MacBook Pro, the first thing we got to do is to remove the bracket that holds the hard drive in place. There's two Phillips screws right there, so they're a little bit longer. Just go ahead and keep note of that. Um, once we're done with that, then we can begin to pull the hard drive out. You don't actually have to pull the screws out of the bracket. Go ahead and just leave them in there. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and pull it out. Take a note. Remember how it's placed. That way you don't get mixed up after. Set it down, and then we can go ahead and jump ahead to the next step. So go ahead and take that tab, uh, pull the hard drive out, and then begin to remove the SATA and power connector. So it should just slide right out, very easy, nothing to it. And that same tab, go ahead and carefully remove that as well and set that aside because we're going to need to put that on the new drive. And just as a quick note for you guys, this isn't limited to SSDs only. If you guys are wondering on doing maybe an extra size hard drive or maybe bumping up the speed to a 7200 RPM hard drive, this will work as well. Here we're actually going to switch screwdrivers. We're going to move over to the Torx T6 screwdriver. Now there's four pins located on the outside of the hard drive. We're going to remove those because we're going to need to put those on the new ones. There's two on each side. They slide in pretty easy. They shouldn't give you any trouble. So hopefully you guys checking out this video, you realize it's actually pretty easy to upgrade the hard drive or SSD in your MacBook Pro. Once we're done with that, we're going to jump on to the next step. So remember that tab that we had set aside? going to go ahead and stick it on back to the side of the hard drive or the SSD for that matter and then from there we're going to take the SSD or the hard drive again for that matter and hook it up to the SATA and power connectors. Go ahead and make sure everything's lined up and it should just slide right in there. We're just about done right now so go ahead and take the SSD drive with the screws facing you. Put that side in first and then once you're done with that go ahead and proceed to put the rest of the drive in there. It'll pop right in there and as you guys can see it fits in perfectly. Now we're actually going to go back to that original bracket we had taken out. We're jumping back to the Phillips screwdriver here. So hopefully you guys left it as it was and it should just line up right in there. Go ahead and just double check it, make sure everything is correct and then begin to proceed to screw it in. After this, we're just about done and all we're going to need to do is basically put the lid back on, screw it up and you guys are ready to go. We will end on this video showing everything being screwed back up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped. Now you guys realize it's really easy to install an SSD and it's probably the number one thing you can do to your MacBook Pro or any laptop for that matter. So I will catch you guys later and as always feel free to subscribe.